I definitely feel like over this whole period of my journey, I feel less is more now. My makeup artist is gonna kill me. She never gives me tips. She, never. Because she, she knows I don't need it. A lot of people ask me this question. Um, I use this brand called Ezeal Beauty, which I'm so obsessed with. It saved my skin from crazy breakouts and really bad acne. And it's just like, I swear by it. Like the face wash, the creams, the cleanser, the toner, everything about that brand is to die for. No, but if I look dehydrated, she's be like, she'd be like, yo, you need to drink some water. <laughs> Mascara. Oh, that's, that's crazy that you're asking me this question because I just recently saw like old photos of mine in school and I thought I was such a bad bitch because I used to wear the ugliest eyeshadow and I never blended never used to blend my eyeshadow. I don't know why. Um, so I hate that I did that to myself in high school. <laughs> and such thin, thin penciled eyebrows is just terrible. I don't know what I was thinking. Never again. I have so many uh, beauty inspirations, but you know what? I'm just so glad that over the years of trial and error and trying to find myself in the beauty space, I realized like the more natural makeup, works better for my features. And a lot of the people that I got to work with, especially a lot of the makeup artists that I got to work with in, the, in, in my journey, in my career, have actually taught me how to um, look better but without wearing so much makeup. So I learned a lot of techniques from them. Um, I definitely feel like over this whole period of my journey, I feel less is more now. Um, especially when it comes to makeup. I don't have a hack. I just realized that some things work for my face, like less foundation, more like pinky, pinky tones, like on my lips, my, my, my cheeks, you know, mascara, and keeping my eyebrows really light, because if I darken my eyebrows too much, I look horrible. So these are like my hacks. <laughs>